Okay, our next job is to watercolor our buildings. Um, and to do that, we're gonna use our pan watercolors. Now, if you notice this one, my yellow is dirty and my orange is dirty. If that happens, get a damp paper towel. Notice it's not dripping, but it's wet. And then you can go right over your dirty ones and just kind of scrub. See, I'm getting the dirty part off. And you might have to go a couple times. You might have to get another towel, but that is starting to work. Okay. We want to keep these as clean as possible so that our colors are really bright. But it's okay to clean them out. Excellent, okay. Now, when we're coloring our buildings, we wanna make them bright colors. So we don't wanna use black or brown, okay? Not today. We wanna use all the colors in between. And since these colors are dry, they like to be wet, we have to get our brush wet and swirl it gently in your watercolor. We want to wake up the paint. I want to wake it up. I might need to get more water. There we go. And then I'm going to get started. Now it's okay if I go outside the lines a little bit. Uh, we're going to cut these out. And so it's okay, because when we cut it out, you won't even notice. Now, when I wanna switch colors, this is really important, and I know that you know this second grade. If I wanted to go to blue, can I just dip into it right away? No, I wanna put my brush in my cup and swirl it. Can you hear it swirling on the bottom? Let's see. And then I want to wipe it on the lip and swirl into my next color. And then go ahead and paint what's next. This will keep our tray clean. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to watercolor so we're ready for our next step. And now my um, buildings are ready to go on the drying rack.